guys, thanks for stopping back to my channel. I'm here to do my wax picks for the month of September, so I'll show you the candles and the wax melts that I like to get through in the month of September, and then if you watch my empties videos, you'll see if I used what I said I was going to use, and if you're interested in, any, in seeing any of my reviews on these products, if you look at my empties, I usually talk about how, I, how well I like them. So, um, I have a lot that I picked out, but I probably won't <laughs> end up going through it. Like, I definitely know I won't. Um, I'll start with the Bath & Body Works candles first. I have this one that I featured in my last wax picks. This is, um, Bath & Body Works Joy Peppermint Marshmallow. I started burning this one, um, in August. And as you can see, I'm having a real, like, hard time getting it to pull out all the way. Um, one of the wicks will always keep going out and such, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this candle. I might just put it on my melter, but there's too much wax in it and I don't know. I might try and, I don't know. This one might just go on the melter. It sucks though because I really wanted to burn it. <laughs> but I really do enjoy the scent, so if they come up with this candle this year, I'll probably pick it up. Okay, the next Bath & Body Works one I have here is Summer Boardwalk, and I know what you're thinking, September isn't technically summer, I know, but um, this candle is really, um, it's really heavy on the caramel, I mean, and the apple too, but I think it's really heavy, and I, th and I think it, it'll be good for um, not so hot um, temperatures. So I figured I'd put it in for September. <clears throat> Sorry about the weird lighting. I have a candle going and there's like no light coming into my room. Um, I'm going to try and fix the lighting real fast. So just bear with me. Okay. I think that helped a little bit. All right. So those are the two Bath and Body Works candles I want to get through. And then along the lines with that Joy Peppermint Marshmallow, I might try and melt this. This is the Yankee Candle uh, North Pole. This is just a really strong peppermint vanilla scent. Definitely more minty. I don't know. Maybe I'll save this one for winter, but I thought it would go really well with that uh, with the Joy Peppermint Marshmallow Candle. They're very similar. So there's that one from Yankee. I have some more Yankees. This one I've burned like a little less than halfway. It's in Christmas Cookie. No scent throw on this. Not a repurchase, and I don't recommend it. There's not really a scent to it. This one is also, this one looks more than halfway done, actually. This is the Yankee Candle in Irish Cream. No scent throw on this one, either. Look at that wild wick on there. I trimmed my wicks prior to the burn, so that's why it's crazy like that. Um, but yeah, this one also has no scent, <laughs> so I don't recommend that one. And it would not be a repurchase. And then, what else do I have? Oh, yes. I have this Kringle candle here. This one is in the scent Apple Cider Donut. This one is kind of really spicy and heavy, so I'm not sure if I'll burn through this one, but I might. It's definitely a fall, a fall apple cider scent. It's definitely apple cider with a little bit of bakery hint in there. It'll go well with the summer boardwalk candle, so I figured I could burn these around the same time. So there's that one. And then I have this one from Target that I thought I could just um, put in here just for an extra candle to get through this month. This one is the Chesapeake Bay um, Home Scents in Caramel Latte. It's 11.5 ounces. And this is what it looks like. Um, I've already started burning this, as you can see. It has, um, actually a, I would say a, um, light to medium scent throw in my medium-sized room. So if you had a smaller room, I definitely think this would do a good job of scenting it up. I do enjoy the smell. It's definitely a, you don't smell like it. It doesn't smell like it on cold, but it's definitely a heavy caramel, like, heavy caramel latte scent. Not very coffee, but just like a sweet an almost spicy, like, fall-esque caramel scent. I don't know, it's really, it, I, I 
thought it was okay. I enjoyed it while it was burning, so I'll try and get through this one while um, in the month of September. Ah, uh, guys, I'm sorry. My phone always drops. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. Alright, I had to pause and readjust the camera. <laughs> Alright, and I have one last candle. A lot of candles this month. Um, this is the DW Home, my first ever DW Home candle. This is in the scent Tobacco and Goji. The reason why I have this one, um, is because the glass reminds me of, like, September. And it's kind of a deeper scent, so I think it'll do good in September. And what else was I going to say? Oh, it doesn't have a lid, so I thought I should use this up this one up as soon as I can. I got it, I think, two months ago, and I can't, like, notice a significant m amount of, like, scent disappearing from it while, like, while it hasn't had a lid on it, but it does smell light, and it's just like a, like a cranberry note, or whatever a goji berry is, mixed with, like, a tobacco scent. It's really nice. It's kind of manly, so, um, I have, uh, a wax malt that I thought I could have go with it, which is us getting into the wax melt portion of this video because I'm done with all the candles. This The scent that I thought would go go with the tobacco and goji is Super Tarts Daryl, and Daryl is leather, sugar, dust, sugar dusted blackberries, and sweet cream. And this is a really awesome, this is a really awesome, deep, manly scent. It's not cologne -y. So don't think cologne or fresh. Think like tobacco, like tobacco scented stuff or leather scented things. That's what this smells like and it's really nice. Um, I don't plan on melting through all of these wax melts, like the whole packages or anything, but I just want to, these are some of the ones that I'm going to try. So, you know, when I'm melting <clears throat> in the month of September. I'll stick with super tarts. So the next one I have is the Lost Boys. And this one is pomegranate, fresh apple cider, and toasted marshmallows. Uh, this one is just a really nice, not too spicy, but um, a little spicy like apple cider. Uh, and I think it'll be good for September. I know a lot of people melt their apple scents this month, so I'll try and do that too. <laughs> and then this other one I just threw in because I love it. This is Modoc from Super Tarts. It's creamy peach and blackberry sorbet stacked on top of a vanilla sugar waffle cone. This is the most beautiful peach scented wax melt I've ever smelt. And it's really strong and it's just really nice and bakery peach with like blackberry. It is really nice and I love it. So I might melt one of those cubes um, in September. And the last thing from Super Tarts I included is Poltergeist because I love melting this with the Joy Candle. Um, I have a clamshell of this on the way so I figured I could get through this little sample or at least use half of it or something. Because you don't need a lot of this. See, as you can see, I this is like, it was cut in like two big halves and there's, other like, there's like a third little part. So, there's that. Two more things. These last two things are from vendors, wax vendors. First one is Country Lane keep Keepsakes. This is Pumpkin Apple Strudel. I'm not a huge fan of this scent because it's very, it's very heavy on the pumpkin. It smells like a craft store almost. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll get through this. I'll try and melt it sometime. Maybe when I'm melting the apple cider donuts. I'm not too sure. It's not. It's not very for me. And then this last one is the Front Porch um, scent, Far Out and Groovy. This, if you have ever been into a head shop or any type of, like, little boutique, this is, like, what all of those places smell like. Think Nag Champa and Patchouli, but almost better. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, like, a, a hippie scent, and I like it, so I figured I can try and melt this sometime this month as well. I'm trying to try out my front porch wax melts that I purchased in... In July, but none of them have really uh, done too well, so I'm not sure if I'll be repurchasing any from them. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!